Most people, however, will agree that purpose matters. The question is, how can businesses apply it effectively throughout the entire organization? And is purpose applicable only to large organizations with the luxury of resources and time? To dive deeper into the subject, I've invited some friends who lead a variety of organizations of different scale. First, we have Mr. Lim Moon Heng, chairman of Tomasic, one of the largest investment firms in the world. He will share with us more about why purpose matters and what is the most important thing that leaders have to take note to ensure systemic adoption. Companies operate in the community and the well-being of the community is fundamental to the continuing existence of the company. There is no business to be done on a dead planet and the prospects for any company would be poor if the community is sick. Uh, in today's situation, you say nobody is safe until everybody is safe. So all companies should ask themselves the question, beyond profits and good returns to shareholders, do businesses have a higher purpose? In my younger days, I read Konosuke Matsushita, the founder of the company we know as Panasonic today. And he said, profit in itself is not the ultimate goal of an enterprise. And more basic is the effort to improve human life through enterprise management. And profit becomes important and necessary only to better pursue this basic mission. Matsushita's uh, purpose is also very much in line with the purpose of businesses that were set up by a group called the Quakers. And the guiding principle to them is to seek for others the best life of which they are capable. So every person in a company from the CEO to the lowest employee must know the purpose of his company and be guided by this North Star. So likewise, if we are chairing an organization or we are CEO of an organization or we belong to the C-suite, as we define our purpose, we must also translate that in language which people down the line can understand. So what does it mean to people two, three layers down the line? The kind of work which they do, how does that fit in to that purpose? Otherwise, as you say, it's just a wholly aspirational statement. So for different com enterprises, it meant different ways in which you can express it, but you should be able to express it like a brick layer the bricklayer will not think that he's only just a bricklayer, but also bigger purpose is building the cathedral. Now, if we are able to make our employees fully understand the purpose which we have and how they can play a role in delivering that purpose, then we will truly have a purpose-driven company. And with that, I'm very sure that the company will move on from success to success.